What's going on everybody? I just wanted to make a quick video here about how to really rapidly update dividend payments in Google Finance because right now there isn't a function for it. Like for example, if you want the stock name and stuff, you can use Google Finance. If you want the current price, um, there's a function for that as well. But if you want the dividend, you have to manually type this in yourself. So the way that I do it is when I add a new position to my portfolio, I just look it up on Yahoo Finance and I type it in. But of course, as time goes on, the dividends do change. And so like you have to update them every once in a while. It's not something that I obsess over and check all the time. But every couple months, it's a good thing to uh, come in and check. So the quickest way that I found to do this is to also track your portfolio with Yahoo Finance. So if we just come up here and under like on Yahoo Finance or finance.yahoo.com, uh, under this My Portfolio section, you can make an account and basically track a watch list. And so what I do in here is every time I add a new position to my uh, to my account, um, I add, basically I add a new symbol and I add it in. Make sure to um, follow the formatting here. It's a little bit differently um, formatted than Google Finance. You notice we have the to, dot to at the end instead of TSE colon and then the ticker. But yeah, um, you can actually have a few different views of your holdings using uh, Yahoo Finance, a bunch of random stuff in here. But anyways, with uh, the dividend, so you can basically set up a view. So you can click view, and then you can take the symbol, and then just um, the forward annual dividend rate. So that's what I've done for this view, and I just called it forward annual dividend. Um, notice the order here, it starts with R and W, then SJR and then ends with L and MRU. So this is the same order that I have in chronological order that I put, bought and you know, added these positions to my account. So we have RNW, SJR, and then down at the bottom, L and MRU. So we basically have to set up a view that like either matches some way that you're able to organize your spreadsheet. Um, I just chose to do it in chronological order. You could do it in alphabetical order or something, and then you could also just sort your sheet um, like this in alphabetical order and then just organize this in alphabetical order too. You can rearrange these uh, with this reorder button. But um, the way that I choose to do it, which doesn't really make a difference, was just in chronological order. So anyway, so you come in here and then you just um, select, just click there and select the whole kind of table. You can go all the way, you can just go to there. Um, and then in Google Sheets, it's easiest just to make a new tab, just paste it somewhere, it doesn't matter, like that. Okay, and you don't even need these things, so you can delete these two extra columns. They're just going to confuse us. Um, but yeah, then come into the portfolio, and then also just grab the ticker and the dividend. And then when we come back, so uh, when we come back here into the sheet, just paste those in beside, and just double check to kind of spot check it to make sure that they do line up, like R and W and R and W. Um, pick a few here, so MFC, MFC and just scan around a little bit, making sure it is exactly in order because you don't want to be putting in the wrong dividend into the wrong thing, but it looks like it's all perfectly in order. Um, and then what I would do here is I would just recommend subtracting, like take the, the forward annual dividend and subtract the value that you have in the sheet currently. And if you have a positive value, it means that basically the dividend has increased. And if you have a negative value, it means that the dividend has decreased. Um, now you can also, if you really want, it's sometimes like if you have trouble seeing the which ones are going up and down because there's a bunch of zeros here. You can even conditionally format it really quickly if you want. This is unnecessary, um, but you can do it if you want just to kind of get a better idea. So just set it to be, um, if it is greater than zero, just make it green. Then you can add in another rule saying like, if it is less than zero, um, make it red. Okay, so here we can get a pretty good idea. So since the last time I updated it, which is honestly like, I haven't updated it yet. Um, you can see some of them are pretty old. But this one, um, this is Acon and Granite Real Estate. These two have jumped up. RioCan fell down. A lot of people are aware of that. Um, Brookfield Energy Renewable Energy Partners is up and AQN is down a little bit. CCL is up. Waste Connections is down a tiny bit. TFI is up. And then the rest, there's a couple increases. If you're curious as well, just to know exactly like how much the difference is, you can also just do this cell divided by that one, autofill, and then set this to a percentage. You can quickly get an idea of what's changed. So it's an up 9%, up 3%, down 33%. That's what they announced. Um, these are always announced, but yeah, up almost 9%, down 4%, up 16%. That's, that's pretty big. Same with this one, up 10%. That's cool. Yeah, and then up 5%, up 3%, and up 11%. Nice. 
Okay, now what you do, because you know that these are in the exact same order, just take the forward annual dividend rate, that is the actual one going forward, copy that, and then just come back into the portfolio, and then select the first cell, right click, paste special, and just paste the values only. Okay, and so that updates everything. And you can just maybe double check, um, for example, MRU here now is displaying a dollar. And then when we looked here, that is the correct forward annual dividend because before it was 90 cents. Um, something that's worth checking is if we go into the summary page, right now the annual dividend income is $521 and that's after I made these changes. So if we actually just command Z that or control Z if you're on a PC, set it back to what it was before. Notice that MRU is 90 cents now. Um, it was telling me it was 524. So this number was slightly incorrect. Um, and that's okay. I don't use this to like plan out my life. It, this is kind of just for reference. And I know every time I look at this number that this is based on the values in the portfolio tab. And these values are generated by me. And if I don't update them, then it's old. But um, 524, if we go forward again, we've reset it to the actual forward dividend. Uh, 521 so it's changed by less than one percent um, but now it's actually correct at this point in time and probably in a few months I'll come back and I'll do it again but yeah that's how you do it unfortunately there's not automatic I've seen people write scripts for it where you can have like a macro and a JavaScript thing going on um, where it is possible but because people are using this sheet that don't know how to write macros or might not be comfortable like enabling a macro that I've created or something like that um, I've just left this, you know, manual, I guess, but to be honest, just coming in here, copying this list, pasting, I've been talking for a few minutes, but if you're just in a rush, you could do this in like one minute. Um, so it's not exactly automatic, but it is pretty quick to update. And keep in mind, I have 33 positions that basically in a couple clicks, we can just come in and update the whole thing in, and then move on with our day. The only other thing to do would be if you're, you know, if you built an extra sheet like this, just delete that tab. Um, you know, you don't want that clogging up everything. And otherwise, you're good to go with all of your new, fresh, accurate forward annual dividend yields.